Hola, we're Magical Chicanos, and today we, we brought, brought our, our stretchy, stretchy pants. pants. We're here at the Grand Californian Hotel, and we are getting ready to eat a feast. We made reservations for the Storytellers Story Cafe, Cafe, and we're going to show you some little hidden secrets that we normally don't tell anybody, but we thought maybe you should know. So let's go. Vamos. Pedro chomping at the bit. He is ready. Hi. We're a little bummed because storytellers used to have this like a la carte menu that wasn't available on the buffet line, but now they took it away. So, so we wanted to show you Okay. A little secret stuff. Right? We wanted to show you those a la carte items that we absolutely love. Things like grilled cheese, chicken nuggets, beignets, um, mini sliders. They're gone and that's upsetting. We asked why the a la carte menu was removed and they wanted to go higher end. They wanted to take away kid stuff. That's the quote. <laughs> so the that, end. Yeah. We'll Sorry, look. kids. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see how this new menu is. Now that we're here, we'll find out. Yeah. Bye. There he is. Way to go, Pluto. You're a good boy. Oh, you're a Look at how cute he is. I love Pluto. <laughs> what a good boy. <laughs> Thank you. Let's talk about our breakfast. Well, mine's very simple. I got myself some hash browns and some eggs with some mocha hit the sauce on top. I didn't want to use ketchup as much. Even though I got ketchup, I'm going to try to leave off of it. And I got some green salsa chilaquiles. With some onions, some radishes, and I got a um, French toast. Oh, French toast. I went blank for a second. So what we're getting is the breakfast side of things. There's another side that has the lunch side. We came on brunch time, so what I have is a bit of French toast, Mickey waffles, of course. I'm gonna just flip that over so you don't see the butter. I didn't see the Mickey denier, waffles. Denier, deni butter denier. Um, the uh, I got some of the chilaquiles. The bread pudding they have here is amazing. I'm just gonna take a bit of that for right now. Mickey, hi! How are you, Mickey? We were just trying to talk about this food really quick. Yeah, it's rather delicious. I was saying the bread pudding was the best thing about storytellers, I think. Besides Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway. Oh, can we take a picture? Let's take a picture with Mickey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, oh, it's on the review. Film this. We knew we were coming to storytellers, so we. <laughs> 
Kendra's doing some Disney bounding right now. He's, he's wearing the same stuff as Mickey. Yeah, one, two, three. That's so cute. The khakis and everything. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Mickey. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> Wasn't that fun, Mickey, and all his things. Uh, anyway. Bread pudding, chilaquiles, French toast, Mickey waffles, a beautiful looking sausage, which I'm gonna lay right over here, because I also got an omelet, but some roasted turkey and barbecue chicken drumlet, which I haven't tried before. This is gonna be interesting. Mm. It's a little dry. Obviously, it's been sitting in the sun. I mean, in the lamp. But it's good. Seasoning is good. Try a little bit of the turkey. Oh. That's like Thanksgiving style turkey. Delicious. They have an omelet station for brunch and for breakfast. So you can put whatever you like on it. You can have whatever you like. I got everything. I, all the veggies. No meat. Mushrooms, olives, spinach, tomato, and avocado. But your eggs look so fluffy, Pedro. Fluffy eggs. I got some stuff she didn't get, like hash browns. Look at that. Yuck. Mm. She don't like hash browns. No, I don't. But I do. Very flavorful. Not as salty, which is good. Sometimes too much salt is not good. It's really good. I bet those chilequiles will be salty. <laughs> we'll find out. There you go. Cream sauce of chilaquiles. It's not salty. It's very citrusy, which I love. And that's thanks to the uh, green salsa, the uh, tomatillos. Does this feel like higher up food to you from the last time? <laughs> I mean, they want to be on Forbes magazine, right? Or whatever. Yeah, that's the reason why they did an update. Or they just eliminated some stuff. It just looks it kind of like, the same to me. It feels like it hasn't changed. Maybe but dinner time is different. Lunch time, probably. Yeah. But um, it doesn't look. I mean, what can, what else can you do with eggs? You can make them like eggs. Chef Ramsay makes them. Eggs or eggs? <laughs> the French toast, yeah. Oh. Ugh. I think it's sort of like solidified it's now. <laughs> Hi, Minnie. Saying hello to everybody out there. Yeah. The best. Oh, the friend. <laughs> Thank you, Manny. Yeah, this is really good. But out of all this, I think I like the um, <laughs> the hash browns. Out of all that, you like the hash browns? Oh God. They just feel like home. Hometown buffet. Oh. <laughs> Do you remember that breakfast in hometown? This is the best. Oh my God. I love it. I will overeat like nobody's business. Mm -hmm. Don't overeat now. I'm All right. Trying not to. Let's eat our breakfast. We went to the uh, lunch area, and I was more impressed. To be honest, we got roasted vegetables, which are my favorite. This is Con such a colorful place, yeah. by the way. And some some squash, zucchini squash, some potatoes, uh, some shallots, onions, garlic, carrots, and some roasted cauliflowers. Really, really good. This right here, this little section here, is the beet salad. So it has some some uh, mandarins, Ooh. some uh, I don't know what, what you call that, kale maybe, and then the beets of course, roasted beets, and then the middle part is mozzarella salad. So There's mozzarella balls, with some leafy greens, some tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes, and I think a, like a Caesar dressing. And right here is the kale salad which is i think it's like balsamic some quinoa some yellow and red um, raisins and i think some cheese i don't know what kind of cheese it is good old mac and cheese 
And to top it up, I'm not gonna eat all of it. This is a minestrone. They have not minest that. <laughs> this. <laughs> minestrone. I can't tell the difference. <laughs> oh, well, you'll see, look. You don't eat I know, I'm just showing you. I'm, I'm just showing you. Look at those big old beans, carrots, some green beans. Try some of that. Looks good. All right, I gotta use a spoon now. There we go, a big old spoon. They just gave me a big old spoon. Some um, kidney beans. Oh, it smells so good. It smells creamy. That's weird. Why isn't Olive Garden doing this? <laughs> this is better. Oh my god. This is really good. It's like, if I could describe it in the most simplest way, that way you get an idea in your head. It's like having chili sauce. Oh. But it's not chili sauce. Uh -huh. It's veggies. <laughs> so it has that, that, that texture profile, that, that taste profile too. Oh yeah, very chunky. You hear that, Forbes? Chunky. We'll see about this. My wife wants to try the soup. Hmm? I wouldn't give this to my dog. Just we'll, kidding. We'll see. Know. We'll see. It's nice and hot, too. My wife is very particular with her soups. This reminds me of um, mm. tomato. Of course. It's like, like tomato sauce. I mean, oh. uh, I'm not tomato. Um, tomato basil. Uh huh. So <laughs> creamy. Yeah. Which is not typical of a minestrone. It's usually not its characteristic. You think they added milk in there? No. If, you, if they added milk, you would have seen it a lot lighter. So this is what I grabbed for lunch. They had pizza, some fries, chicken tender, mac and cheese. Roasted veggie, I definitely want to try that beaten kale. But I also got a piece of top sirloin. And we'll get to this part over here in a bit. Lots of pastries. I had to get a second of that chilequiles because they had a brought a fresh one, which looks so delicious. But I have no idea what all this is, so I'll try it later. I really just didn't want to try this. Meat is tender. Try a beak. I think they have slivers of almond in there. Almond? Mm -hmm. See, like see these almonds? looks... Oh. You can't tell because it's dyed, but... <laughs> no, it is almond, I can tell. Um, they have the french fries exactly from um, Palm Breeze. Oh, really? I think... This pizza did not look delicious. <laughs> It's like a kid's pizza. Yeah. Oh, Forbes. <laughs> but this mac and cheese, it looks very different from when we saw it last. Do you remember really? mac and cheese? No, oh, I don't remember that. I don't remember somewhere in the park. Oh, okay. Do you remember the Pixar booth? Mm. That most delicious mac and cheese? Maybe. It kind of looks like this. Kind of looks like this. So we'll try it. Is it the same? I'm literally waiting It's more Velveeta. -y. I can't even remember the one over there. I remember it being good. And this is okay. Is it the same? I have no idea. It looks exactly like it. It's just the sauce is probably different. Forget the chilaquiles, you never saw them. You never saw them, they were never here. <laughs> um, but I just ran and grabbed all the desserts that were at the dessert bar or dessert tray. Madeline's, you've got different colors. So there's this is the plain Madeline. And then you got two different ones here. That's like a red one. What is that, like strawberry? Oh, you can taste the strawberry in this. You can even see the strawberry seeds. Maybe pistachio? 
Just out, shout. How do you know just by looking at it? Because I can feel it in my heart. Okay. Oh yeah, look at this. That is a that's a fruit chart. What is that noise over here? Oh, someone's birthday. Here we go. You didn't get the strawberry part. Mm. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not strawberry. What is it? That's a raspberry. Oh. That's a blackberry. I had the strawberry already. Oh, I see, I see. I, I do see. want the blackberry. Okay, Ooh. take it, take it. Blackberry's good. It's got fiber. Fiber. Mm -hmm. I love it. All right. I'm going to try this uh, since Mickey's right here. Oh, oh, yeah. You're down, you're down. Oh, oh no. I'm just going to pretend. Oh, it's, oh, what is that? Peanut butter and chocolate. I like peanut butter. Oh, you do? I this, like chocolate. This is for you then. Mm. Mm. What does it look like? It uh, tastes, the, well, you have, a, thank you for taking part in this, Mickey, by the way. <laughs> uh, I this, is, um, this is like a peanut butter topping mm -hmm. with crumbles of, uh, but it looks like pretzel. Save some for me. Okay. I like peanut butter. Yeah, this is, the rest of it is like a chocolate hazelnut. Yeah. So good. That was a surprise. I did not expect peanut butter. Um, and then whatever this is. Oh, that looks like a typical... Pecan croissant. Yeah, with some some nuts on top. Pecans, you know. I don't know why, but nothing to write home about. Sometimes I'm not a fan of flaky pastries. Really? I don't know why. When it did right, it's delicious. It's a blueberry scone. Oh, you love scones. Uh, oh yeah. If this had like a drizzle of something, it would be really nice. Good. What about that? They're all a bit dry. <laughs> This cinnamon, whatever, super dry and flaky, like flaky. Look at this. You touch it, it's like, oh, my feelings. Finally, this thing. This is a muffin, right? Yeah, but I cannot tear through it. You're supposed to like bite it and then spit out the paper. Oh, fooey, no. Oh, it says open right here. <laughs> open. I can read. You goof. Oh, okay, whatever. I shouldn't do this. Cranberry? It looks like a, you know what it looks like? Mm. Like a rosca on the top part. Yeah. I'm gonna find a little plastic uh, figurine inside. Blueberry? It's a blueberry. It's good. It looks what? like Pedro got some fruit. My dish is a little different. Got yogurt with some blueberries, some grapes, some granola, pecans. Yummy. What Healthy a, for what digestion. A, what a vegetarian meal. <laughs> That's so good. The okay, it's not over the moon, guys. It's, it's yogurt and grape. Grape? Disney uh, yogurt, yeah. Whatever, uh... This is what we've left. <laughs> Pedro, any thoughts? I just found out Pussy Boots is from Italy. <laughs> we were looking into Pussy Boots. Because it was the Zorro pictures, it's cool. You want to look. They have all these folklores on the wall, all these paintings, and one of them was Zorro. And the wife asked me, is Puss in Boots and Zorro, which one's older? What, what inspired what? Because I told her, Zorro inspired Batman, so. Ugh. Anyway, this update <laughs> by ADSD. I am unhappy with certain things that they did with it. And I am very happy with certain things they did. Like this minestrone soup that I finished, that I promised that I wouldn't finish all the way. Shame um, on you. It's the best. <laughs> it's the best. They used to have like clam chowder. Well, what did they what Oh, they had corn chowder. Corn chowder. It but I think okay. that was more like for dinner time, right? I don't care. But I didn't like it compared to that. I love corn chowder. I love clam chowder. The three salads I tried, they were amazing. The roasted vegetables, amazing. The mac and cheese was different, and it was amazing. 
Why is this not the same, but... It's not the same. I love this. And if you ever come here for brunch, it's, I think it's in the lunch menu, the yogurt. The yogurt is amazing. It comes with grapes, cherries, slices of apples, blueberries, pecans, and you put a little bit of granola on the top. It's the best. Overall, I'll always come back to storytelling. Things have changed and that's okay. I liked it before. I'm curious about how lunch looks and dinner looks, uh, honestly. So maybe we'll come back for dinner. Not today, but another day. This is interesting. But I'm the food. But, okay. But the food, has it changed in a bad way or in a good way? Was it a necessary thing? You're going to read us a story? <laughs> Once upon a time in the hundred acre wood. This is storyteller, by the way. Yeah. So, it's only appropriate. We're telling, we're telling the story of how it's changed. Well, like, we'll close the book on the past and yep. look towards the future. Don't they end always like that? Those <laughs> TV shows? 